No doubt, he's one of the one of the best players in the NBA, and I've enjoyed watching a lot of his you know his plays and moves, and and he has contributed a lot to the NBA uh, and, and the athletic communities, and and people just really love him. Where is he currently in eternity? When when a person dies, the Bible tells us in Hebrews. Uh, Chapter 9, verse 27, that it is appointed for men once to die and then after that the judgment. Now, I don't know. I'm not here. A lot of people out there, you know, they may say, oh, this he is in heaven or he is in hell or they place all these judgments. I don't know. I'm not here to, to cast any judgment. I can't. I'm not God. But what I do know is that when I think about um, his death, right, it was only in the beginning of the year in January that he died at the age of 41. Very, very young death at the helicopter crash. Do you think he... For he had foreseen that he would die on the helicopter crash with his daughter. It's such a tragic uh, event. And you know, when, when I heard the news, I was praying for 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 his family and and those around him who were really hurt. And that should be our attitude. We're not pointing fingers. We're not seeing who's going where. But it it, it still begs the question to ask ourselves. All our days are numbers, and all, all our days are numbered. You and I, we're on borrowed time on earth here. Every day I wake up, I thank God for breath, for life, for sunlight, for everything, because. We're not guaranteed the next second. And just the same as Kobe Bryant didn't know whether he was going to die on that day in a helicopter, you and I don't know when our next breath is going to, or last breath is going to be. So I think the better question to ask is not whether Kobe Bryant right now is he in heaven or is he in hell. Well, my personal belief is anyone, God loves everybody. God is, the Bible tells us, for God so loved the world. One of the most famous scriptures that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And that is Jesus Christ. He died on the cross, took the punishment of sin for you and for me, so that today we don't have to die in our sins. Now, did Kobe Bryant cry out to God or did he have a personal relationship with Jesus? I don't know. Only God knows. And sometimes people say, well, he never exhibited that throughout his life. But you never know. Some people, maybe at the last moment, last second of their lives, they cry out to Jesus and God saves them. But that is more outside the question of what I want to talk about today. The more important question for you and I is, as we think about this, as, as the uh, social media are trending on his birthday, saying, thank you, Kobe. You inspired me. And, and those are awesome. On earth, he has done so much great things. But I think... Um, beyond leaving an earthly legacy for you and I, what are some other questions that we can ask ourselves? And that is, if we die at this moment, are we ready to see God? So the question that you and I have to ask yourself today is, let me ask you, are you ready to die? Uh, if, if you get into a similar situation, I pray that you don't, I pray that the, that the protection of God be on you and your family. But if you are to stand before the one who is going to give judgment to the entire earth to judge our whole lives, are you going to be ready to see him? And if your answer is you're not ready to see Jesus, you're not ready to see God. Now, some may say, well, I don't believe in God. I don't, I don't believe in Jesus. I believe there are many ways to, to God. Well, I'm going to tell you, it doesn't matter what you believe, because one day you're going to find out that Jesus is the King of Kings and he is the Lord of Lords. And he's not this mean judge that people think, well, if I don't believe in him, he's going to send me to hell. Well, he doesn't do that. Um, there was actually a comment of someone who says that. When, when Jesus, it's like when someone has provided a way for you to be forgiven. It's like you're in court. And someone is there to pay your fine, but you're, and you don't have any money. And you say, well, I'm not going to take that, that guy's money to pay my fine. I'm going to pay myself. Well, you can sure do that. But the thing is, the wages of sin is death. And, and if you want to pay for your own uh, sins, then that punishment is death. And that is um, perishing in, in hell and inter eternal separation with God. And it's real fire, real burning, real torture. And really just still hurt and, and, and being in pain um, by the loss of Kobe Bryant. God, I pray that you comfort their heart and also remind them, God, and encourage them to think about the things of eternity because one day we all have to stand before you, Jesus. And on that day, may we all, may we all have chosen your grace and and walk with you in faith so that we can enter into your eternal kingdom. We give you praise, God. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.